from my heart and from my hand. Why don't people understand my intention? Oh, good morning, welcome back to the channel. So, against my own better judgment, but for your entertainment, I'm actually going to attempt to do the roof liner on the open roof myself. So, um, hopefully this goes well, otherwise it's going to cost me another 11 weeks delay to get this one on the road. So I'm just in the process of prepping all the surfaces and making sure that there's some glue on the seams before we give this a shot. So keep your fingers crossed, this will either turn into a positive video or one full of swearing and cursing. So I'm going to be using this uh, 3M double sided tape, it's a weatherproof tape, quite strong for securing uh, the roof liner in place because on the open roofs actually there is only one rail at the very back and the rest of it is actually secured around the top of the sunroof and under the seams of the window frame. So uh, yeah, let's get that installed and start. So hopefully you can see this, you can see that there's only one rail that supports the back of these roof liners and then you've got the additional challenge of trying to get it over the motor itself which hangs lower down and then try and pull back the tension for the entire roof so not easy so let me just show you this so the idea is try and get enough tension so that the motor disappears inside. You can see in the corners it tends to gather and I'm assuming that's because the rail holes are not far enough along the material to be able to stretch it so I'm gonna drop those down, elongate those to try and get a little bit more give in these corners. Otherwise, uh, it won't be tight enough over the motor itself. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. This slot doesn't go far enough back to stretch the material and it tends to gather on the end of the rail. So I'm going to just cut this a little further up to allow the material to slide a little bit longer. And I'll do that on both sides and hopefully that takes out the gathering in the corner. tension in over the actual single piece itself uh, just to try and give it a basic stop and we'll see if, uh, if that works so after about an hour of pulling and pushing we've managed to get it over the motor and some tension on it to the bike so now we just need to keep pulling it forward so you can see what I'm doing here I'm using the center strip to hold on as I pull tension across the entire roof liner so hopefully that works out as I get to the last corner so there you go guys 
four and a half hours later, it's done. There's still some creasing in the corners here, as you can see, but I gather that uh, this will probably get covered up by the uh, C-pillar covers. It was a real pain to try and get over the motor lump, as you can see, and get enough tension. Uh, but in the end, I'm happy with the results. It's not perfect, but uh, pretty good, given that it was my first attempt to do an open roof. Uh, only advice I've got for anybody is if you can get someone to do this uh, professionally, then definitely recommend it. It's a lot of time and a lot of energy to try and get this result. Um, and you really do have to start at the rear and work your way forward, constantly putting tension into the material. So anyway, that's it. Um, that job done. Yeah, so as I suspected, once you put the C-pillar cover on, those uh, corner creases actually disappear. So that's it uh, for this week. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and we talk to you soon. Bye-bye.